Hello! And <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Yarvaskir Mind Over Matter. Uh, session five? Question mark? We're counting. I'm counting. Kind of. Um, hello! Uh, Happy New Year and all of that. Um, we have no nil today, that way. Um, they're currently But I'm right way. here. We have nil. We don't have nil. Uh, <laughs> bane of anyone with a speech impediment. Uh, which is me. Uh, luckily, I can do that one. Um, Nils unwell, so of course send your, your get well wishes of that away. Um, but it also means that they are, they get a reprieve from whatever foul concoctions of Dungeons and Dragons I will be sending your way. Uh, I'm really excited to play D&D. Obviously it's been a long little break, uh, for, for basically any, anything going on. Um... And uh, that's gonna be really hype to, to get to get back started in it. Um, obviously, you're gonna need a bit of a recap. So uh, here's what happened last time. Uh, you guys were heading to Cavanari. It's the Underrealm city that is a united effort by the Treaty of the Deep. It's a united effort between, between the core peoples of it, right? Um, to create a new hub for diplomacy. Um, as of such, it's a very impressive, but also fairly small, uh, city, right? Um, with a lot of peoples outside who aren't part of the Treaty of the Deep, who are trying to get recognized, but there are only five, uh, cultures who are actually part of the Treaty right now. Um, you guys, uh basically wandered around <laughs> asking questions of people learning a little bit about the diplomacy particularly how the diplomacy of Narashiro fits into things especially important because Narashiro has always been the mover and shaker uh, despite the usurper elves being the most long-lived um they're also like the most impatient of anyone and uh, have moved very much in the ways of war and diplomacy, and also uh, all of these diplomatic talks used to happen in Narashiro. So the fact that they don't now, how that all interacts, is pretty important. Um, you had uh, a couple of priorities, one which was just learning a lot, and you did learn basically your attaché for Narashiro diplomacy, which is really useful, Ocean, because uh, that's something you're really interested in. As well as trying to get a good deal for your new friend Bryce, a Fomorian that you met who is trying to build a tavern. Um, now, because he's a Fomorian and Fomorians aren't part of the Treaty of the Deep, there's not really any sort of official way for him to get any assistance. And you were trying to sort of work that out, help that out. Um, you found out quite a few things uh, about how you should go and who you should ask and it all comes down to, you know, your street cred isn't high enough and there's nothing we can do. Oh, I'll sign this form, go here, go do that. Um, it's going to be a little while before you can help in a major way every Fomorian. But also from what you, you kind of learn, it doesn't seem like every Fomorian really gives a shit. Um, I mean, if you were a big lumpy giant man, and some of us are, uh, would you care about the affairs of the of the little people playing uh, mommy and daddy in their little new castle? I don't know. Um, and that's pretty much where we left off. Uh, you guys have had a couple of discussions, and uh, you're still at Cavanari. Um, you're actually in the diplomatic. Uh, consulate, basically, the parliament. Uh, you are allowed in because Ocean is a diplomat. Uh, not necessarily officially, but Ocean is like unofficially a lot of things, right? Um, and you'd managed to talk to Jureko de Vescos, who is uh, the main uh, diplomat for Narashiro, who goes over a whole lot of other uh, affairs. Um, what is on your guy's mind? What is next for the party? Uh, your little gnome is asleep. Your gnome, goblin. God, <laughs> how dare I forget. Uh, the poor Chance has narcolepsy. Uh, so it's just a little slumbersome. 
but after all, it's been a very long trip. This music is so relaxing. <laughs> it's a fairly relaxing place. There's no real reason to be afeared. <laughs> Unless you're someone like Ocean who knows that diplomacy often has as many daggers behind backs as, you know, more so than anywhere else. But to someone like Tumulus and maybe as Charles, you're like, oh, this marble corridor, this marble hallway is, is a very calm place. What? There's no ch possible chance of danger here. <laughs> that doesn't stop as Charles being paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if it's later, I think we can go to sleep, or we were also thinking about, or I was thinking about tracking down. He's lumpy, he's smart. Raka. 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, I knew who you meant at my brain. I, I didn't know exactly who you meant. Um, oh yeah, I wasn't sure who you were what you. Her, like, you could do a couple of asking arounds right here. Like, oh, we were told to talk to a Rakath. Rakath, the reaction you get, Ocean, is sometimes people being like, what are you talking about? Sometimes people being like, okay, I'll give you information. I don't really want to give you this information. But Rakath is seemingly someone important in Narashiro that people don't like to talk about. So your best bet would be in Narashiro proper for that. Okay. Uh, if Great. you do want to rest here, they can provide you uh, basically a, a hotel room for your. Yeah, share because for the a question piece. is do we have anything else we want to accomplish in Kavanari? Is there anything else we can accomplish? I in want a beetle brush to brush my beetle! <laughs> sure! That's fine. <laughs> you can get that in the stables. Like a horse brush. You probably need more of a. You know, like a, a cloth with wax. <laughs> yeah. but, like a enough. buffing pad and like a scraper. You like probably need... For like getting in the... There's a whole lot oh, of tools you need. That. Oh, don't say that. You like get it right up in there and you're like... Oh, and then like some horrific lice <laughs> monster comes out. It's like... <laughs> you know, like shrimp parasite. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... It could either be one or two ways. It could be beetle shiny, like like mm -hmm. like a black sort of like bone. <laughs> anyway, if you're still doing it. <laughs> or it would be like a um antler of a deer in spring or winter when they're like velvet. It's velvet. Yeah. I feel like if you asked, you could get a toolkit of various different implements to keep your, I want your beetle happy to have a happy leather roll <laughs> to roll it out and then be like how much you got? <laughs> yeah what's your animal handling <laughs> um, that's got totally it. fine do you want to rest here for a night before yep. you head off uh excellente um this time it, it, it's not gonna be charged like you go and ask and it's like oh Jer uh, jerico de vescos has paid for your accommodation um, and you have a little hotel suite that you can go and, you know, ocean, you can claim a double bed for yourself and, uh, everyone else can sleep on the couches. Um, yeah, I think as shall, because this is not Ebimaro, as shall would probably actually be willing to sleep in the hotel rather than on the outskirts of the city. Yeah, the, the, the hotel is like, this is one built into the parliament. Um, so it's it's really it's it's explicitly for like guests who are only going to be here for a little bit of time, uh, and as such, it has guards. There are there are guards outside, which I don't know if it make you more or less comfortable. Um, depends on what uh, depends on what race they are, primarily. <laughs> which is I, an awkward sentence to it say. It is. <laughs> yes. Not in D and D. It's perfectly normal. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, usually usurper elves. Comfortable enough with them, I guess. Yeah. But in comparison to, like, other Ebimari. <laughs> yeah, Ebimari don't often, in places where it's a joint effort, they're not usually the guards or the soldiers. Yeah, exactly. They're usually the schemers and the thinkers. Yeah. Um... So that's excellent. You can you can go, you can rest, 
You can um, recover after, you know, after a long bit of time on the road. Palanquin's actually really comfortable, but Ocean is probably the kind of person who appreciates a proper bed, especially because, uh, you know, for elves, beds are just comfort. They don't use them as a sleeping implement. They're just, this is a soft place. And it makes me feel good. <laughs> um... That, that that brings me to an interesting point because Ebimari can trance. Is that is that similar for Ebimari, or do they have a different sleeping culture? Or I think they do have a different sleeping culture. For usurper elves and elves in general, it's a deep meditation, right? Mm. It's a it's a deliberate act that has become subconscious to the point where, yeah, it's basically indistinguishable from sleep. But that's because elves spend long time learning how to do it when they're toddlers. Elvish babies are very, you know, if they could complain, they don't know how to meditate. I mean, it's confusing, right? Um, for Ebamari, your trance is more a sense of torpor. I imagine, ideally, they kind of find a place where they can screw themselves into a tight little place and then just kind of nod off. Um, yeah. So uh, that basically like means Ashar is probably sleeping under a bed. <laughs> yeah! Uh, I, I, somewhere, somewhere, like, Wait, safe. It probably would be, like, a smaller space. <laughs> That's excellent. I actually uh, imagined you in, like, a cupboard, like, squeezed together, and then a maid opens it, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Hotels with Ashal. <laughs> Go, you can't take it. You can't take Ashal anywhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, upon your awakening, there is actually a little note that went under the door. Uh, the note has beautiful elvish calligraphy that says, please see me at your earliest convenience, uh, Drico de Vescos. Uh, could you give me a perception check? Anyone who would look at this uh, letter, please. Okay, Bear in mind that I, 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 Ashar, do you speak Elvish or read Elvish? I don't think so. I don't know. I know that, of course, Ocean can read and write Elvish. I know so. a lot of languages, but most of them are magic related. No, I do not speak Elvish. Don't tell that to the Palace Arcanum. They'll get mad at you said that Elvish <laughs> is we... not a magic language. <laughs> Can we make it if uh, we don't have the Yes, language? yeah, yeah. This is nothing to do with the writing. I like to imagine Tumulus has been, he found himself like a comfortable armchair in the room. Yeah. And then when it came under the door, he just watched it and just stared at it for like three <laughs> hours until someone got up to get it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, it's when uh, Ocean like reads it. And Charles, you notice that the, this this note is, it's not damp, but it was damp. You work out that it was probably written from inside a steam room. Ew. Uh, oh, she was just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I shall, time to I dry shall... and such now, but the cardstock is a little bloated. <laughs> I, I shall... I can't think of a good way to say this in that child's voice, so this information is relayed. No, <laughs> <laughs> just Slash's comma just threw me off, and I was like, <laughs> no. I, I can't use that word anymore. Uh, it's a forbidden <laughs> D&D word, although it's one of my favourites. Uh, are you going to <laughs> heed his advice? Or you can just leave. That's also a, an option. Uh, is that all it says? It doesn't say anything it, else. It's literally like a little nice piece of cardstock from his office. It probably has a, like a house seal on it. Um, but not in wax. It's like printed on the cardstock. And then it has this written on it in red ink. With a little I, bit of glitter in the ink. It's a little shiny. His favourite gel pen. Can I smell it? Does it smell like fruit? <laughs> oh my no. god. <laughs> I wish it did. I wish we used those pens more. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that you, be you nice? You could just like, do that. Official business letter, and like you're like, oh, my boss's favorite scent is this. <laughs> my, what a way to bring us all together. Scent. <laughs> I said favorite scent. <laughs> you reply to my letter. I expect. It oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you dug your own you grave here, Neil. You did this. <laughs> but um. I'm going to relay the information 
in my head, a point has been deducted, and there's just a little bit of like, hmm, because of the the weird paper. Uh, <laughs> but that's just for me. And yeah. I shall will will say. Well, if you wish to curry favor <laughs> with this one, then it would be a good idea. Yes? I agree. I'm just not sure we should... I mean, Tumulus, you can accompany us, of course, but if this person is still in this moist room... You may want to take care. I am accustomed to rain. All right. Though, I suppose I try to avoid it. Instead of saying all right, I'll try and say fair enough. (laughs) (laughs) Fair enough. Fair enough. I think you should just double down. Double down on on the ocean voice. As they're, as they're walking out, as shall we say to Tomulus, the rain does not burn you, dissolve in any way. While I still feel pain, I do not feel the pain of my body's slow journey towards deconstruction. That is, I am not sure if that is a blessing or a curse. Only the largest tears hurt. Healing you is still on the table, of course, should you ever want to experiment. Who knows, maybe you just need the loving caress of a fellow gravelly voiced person. <laughs> the shipping has begun. <laughs> As always, it comes from within. I also have feelings for you. Wait, who's talking? We both are. Oh, that's gonna when when this party retires and I have to do all the voices. What the hell? Are <laughs> What, uh, uh, one of you has it. to die. I don't this is know. These, are, these are tank traps. That's all they are. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna leave these bad boys. Then it could be either one. It just be like. <laughs> That's funny. I shall. Uh, we'll, we'll, I shall. We'll, we'll just finish that off by saying, perhaps if one day I can make a study of the magics involved. With my people's great shame, I would be able to do something about your predicament. Let me study your body. <laughs> I've asked that <laughs> once and been told no. That's I'm true. It again. is canon. You're right. This one does not see it as a predicament. Perhaps he would, but not I. onward to the place that is you were you you uh would ask where to find jereko and you would be led to his office um his office is in can you imagine if he's in the steam room like he's (laughs) like a shriveled he's a shriveled he's been in there for like (laughs) for like 12 hours yeah uh like approved uh no when you do ask someone they do kind of look towards the 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 spa built into parliament because if you're building a new parliament you build it with certain concessions in mind um but they're like oh no he's in his office uh his office is uh just sort of built again and just any other part of the parliament it's it's fairly large it's fairly nice it's kind of you know, there's bookshelves, there's a couch. It's comfortable. It's it's a comfortable little place for someone to work. 
Um, there's also something that to most of you would look like a decoration. It's a large ring on a stand made of metal. It's almost sharp like a giant chakram. Ocean would immediately recognize this as a sing ring. It is a form of uh, almost telephonic communication used in and outside of Narashiro. It's magical, they're connected. Um, you can use that to talk directly to the city. Um, uh, Jericho is in there, fully dressed, no steam, uh, looking about as well rested as someone who works as much as him does. Like I said, he from last time, he still looks a little bit of a mess because his his hair is like in a mohawk that has grown out. So his his hair is red, but his silver roots have grown out like a two inches or so. Um, it looks kind of badass, but it doesn't look deliberate. Um, he would give a uh, smile and clasp his hands together like I've had a little thought about uh you you your 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 friend um i'm gonna assume that you're friends uh business partners i suppose the fomorian fellow outside the city indeed uh i can help smooth things along i think a tavern outside the city in that place could be very useful for, for everyone i don't think he needs to be inside the city but i think he should get some support I think that's totally fine. I, I even have some ideas on how to do it. Fantastic. That's wonderful. But... But... <laughs> uh, it would really help me out if you could assist me. I don't know whether you are a, a, a warrior, Ocean, but I can tell... Warrior that God. <laughs> Worry of Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that your uh, servants are. I uh, there is um, there's a little matter that it's it's not honestly it's not even my department. But if you could help out, then it would it would it would just be a nice useful uh, service for Cavanari, and then I'll be able to help Bryce out. Relationships are founded on reciprocity. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> you see him write down that word to look up <laughs> later, <laughs> and then uh, get up. Uh, he will uh, lead you through the, uh, the 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 parliamentary building down to the basements, which I suppose if you live underground. Rat quest. We are going to go kill some rats in a basement. You're, you're kind of going to go kill some rats in a basement. As, as like, it's just, like, accepted and he starts leading us up, Tommy just, like, raises an eyebrow uh, and looks at Ocean and is like, perhaps we should find out before we pledge ourselves to a new goal. That's an excellent point. The, the braiding... Russell's in agreement. <laughs> yeah, so we're in the office, or we walk in. You're walking, he's taking you into the basements uh, um, of this Oshun building. Oshun would push the inquiry and just be like, so. So what are what's the outline of what it is you would um, require of us before we agree to anything oh of course uh that 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 does seem reasonable sorry i don't often hire uh travelers uh to, to do all these sorts of things. i i've been on you know an adventure just the one myself uh but I, I i've never really had to do this part of the whole process the economy um now everything you're gonna see down here is classified um but this, uh, we have an extension of some of the uh, research laboratories that we have in Narashiro, underground, un under the parliament here. Um, As Charles' eyes light up. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <Bing>! <laughs> uh, and the certain kind of magics that they were researching, uh, 
a, ma a magical accidents happen. No one was harmed, but uh, a, a number of beasties were attracted by it. Uh, one of the, the, the walls caved in a little bit, and uh, creatures carved their way through. Uh, pests, but uh, pests that can, can give you a nasty, uh, a nasty awakening. Um, I don't know if it'll be much trouble for you lot, but... And he actually like, gets up to the door. It's like a metal door that has like some tape over it that in Undercommon says like, keep out, <laughs> right? Uh, there are some emergency potions that the researchers would have used. They're, they're, just, they're just in there still. So you have to go and get them. Um, and that should be that should be fine hopefully shouldn't be too hard right so your fire extinguisher was within the room where the fire <laughs> happened <laughs> well i i don't really i don't really understand scientists Mr. i'm a magician myself devaskos what sort of Beasties. <laughs> <laughs> I want that as my ringtone. I don't know myself. Something that is, was a tract. I, I haven't been down here. Uh, I, I, if, if it was magical experimentation, it could be something elemental in nature. It depends on what they were researching. Weapons. It was weapons research. I'm Curious. Check if I have Magical weaponry or blunt weaponry? Science and magic combined. It's a whole craze in Narashiro right now. Hmm. We're trying to work on outfitting the United Armies of the Treaty with a kind of weapon that the surface would never have seen before. Not only useful for that, but also useful for protecting our own home front. The research is... We have a brilliant mind on it. But we also need a few... Averagely brilliant minds working on it too. Um, that's how accidents happen, I suppose. I don't know. Brilliance is also capable of misadventure. Um, do you think detect good and evil would be useful here? Or it could detect, like, yes, it might. there is a thing. It maybe. might. It, it depends what kind of thing is in there, and he doesn't know. It might what? not work through the door, because it's metal. Oh. Mmm. You'd have to open the door. The door is at least an inch thick. Crack the door. You crack the door, and uh, Shuriko does take a big step back. Uh, <laughs> like, I see you seem to have taken the job. I will be upstairs if you need me. Let me look at this. Um, I think Oshun would check with her group, because like she's, she's learning. Are you casting um, this spell first of all? Or you're just like, oh, why am I going to cast spell? Uh, is this a sure thing? And then do the spell. There's nothing okay, else check that the my group wants or sure. needs or wants to back out or anything like that. Tamis my would... babies! <laughs> Tamis would look at uh, Devaskos and say, Do not enter until we say so. I'm not planning on entering until <laughs> ever, hopefully. Make sure no one else does either. Yes, okay, excellent, got it. Don't go to the steam room. <laughs> he's, he's probably gonna go to the steam room. He's like, no! oh, I need to blow some steam. He, you, you actually, if you like, I can imagine like, while Ushin's like casting the spell, Tommy was just like, watches him leave down. Cause it's just a straight hallway with the stairs at the end. He will actually weave a uh, very small illusion that is a very like it's basically a stop don't enter sign that he just puts up in the air um <laughs> it's like the magical version of the slipping man yellow sign <laughs> it's just a dude like 
<laughs> Magic. Yeah, basically. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a spell. I'm a go. Okay, uh, you do not sense anything with this spell. Knowing that, you know that whatever is in there is not of a highly magical nature, at least to the point of being completely altered by it, right? That's what this spell is really good at detecting. Otherworldly creatures or things that are so magical... Magic that they, they, rats. They are magic. <laughs> it doesn't mean that there couldn't be, say, magical rats, but the magical rats have not gone so far as to be celestial. Uh, yes, yeah. it's not It's not a magical yeah, rat. You just, it's a, you it's just a detect tumulus behind you. You're it's not fighting rat, rat god, no. It is a rat that has become magical rather than a rat that or originates from the elemental plane. <laughs> I can even see Ashal kind of explaining that a little bit when you feed back the information. It's like, yeah, yeah. that doesn't mean we're out of the woods. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a little rat with a little witch hat. Aww. Aww. A little staff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's my next character to... idea. <laughs> 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 um in that case i relay that information so it's probably something of our plane let's do this yeah i'm gonna start heading down uh who's gonna go in first it is these these rooms are like the hallway is big enough for you uh ocean it's <laughs> just it's it is all important because a standard one single file hallway is not. It's not necessarily tall enough for you. You're going to be slouched. Yep. Who's going in first? Amulus will slide his um, sensor off his shoulder and slowly begin spinning it and say, Stay <sighs> close. Ashal is last in the line. It, yeah, it's Ashal Ocean. Uh, or, Tumulus. Ocean Ashal. The wild card of chance is not here. But the standard oh. arrangement. In spirit, it's just like, what's what? What's what? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Excellent. Well, why don't we go over to our other screen? Battle map. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a battle, guys. My dark vision is red. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. You step down first, Tumulus. And by the time you're at the bottom of the stairs, yes, please. Thank you. Roll initiatives. You Sorry, I, there, we were on the battle map, so I thought I'd just. Yeah, that's that. You know what? Let's do that first before I describe what you see. You might even. Oh, and this is a good opportunity for my <laughs> new dice box. It's a chocolate box. <laughs> dice. <laughs> Combining my two greatest passions. <laughs> Oh, can you imagine D and D gourmet chocolates? That probably like, exists on like Twitter dice. somewhere. They look like characters, and you just go. <laughs> Wait, so I when Ian just... gets crushed by a door, I get to pick up his character and eat him. Tell me <laughs> and then when I revivify him, I need to. It would. It would be. It, I, I think I've seen a similar joke to this, where you, where that, like people who had dice made of candy and when a dice particularly pissed them off they would just no. eat it and the rest of the group would be like huh? yeah you could make you could make it out of like rock candy <laughs> yeah, i do enjoy I that concept that is funny like you have failed me for the last time <laughs> yeah <laughs> everyone else is just staring at you like uh <laughs> what yeah, especially if no one else knows it's a candy yeah, yeah. dice that's where the the, the grand meme comes in tell me what's your dex bonus <laughs> plus two Okay, so this thing is faster than you on the on the draw. Excellent. Okay, Tumulus, what you see. You head down and you, you see through I mean this is a lab, right? It's it's not got a lot of headroom, but not really a problem to anyone but uh, Ocean, unless Ashal is particularly feeling like hovering close to the ceiling. Um uh you can see rock dust from just general disturbances but you imagine this place was probably pretty clean beforehand and you see as you 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 step down something that definitely heard you guys going down the steps a little lizard it is <gasps> uh deep blue uh and it has kind of dark almost navy horns i don't know like a y shape um and it, it kind of gets up on its 
hind legs are a bit looking at you, and its head will kind of like, and it will, it will chipper and chirp uh, in what is clearly a warning sign, but there's an extra step to the warning sign. A jolting of electricity between the horns. Him. I love him. This is going to be my pet. <laughs> uh, depends whether uh, uh, Tamula smashes it. Um, Don't smash it. Don't smash the little lizard from Frozen 2. <laughs> I mean, I think it's what? breaking and entering. <laughs> this is definitely a legal occupation. Uh, yeah, and it's squatting, breaking and entering, stealing, consuming illicit materials. Yeah, but look at its dumb little face. Yeah, right now it is just like... <laughs> right, making these chippering, chirping noises, which are meant to be threatening, but it's tiny. Um, Anshal, you actually get the first action. You would hear the little zaps of electricity in the chirping. And a little, like, scraping of its claws as it's trying to, like, look big. As Charles is not moving from this safe position, um, yeah, as Charles hopes, um, I will... Surprise! Yeah. Door gets kicked in. Bigger yeah. lizard. <laughs> and he gets hit by the door! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Classic. I guess um, I will prepare a mind sliver in case... Like you see one down in front well, of you. Well, basically, but I, I think it's like, yeah, yeah. As Charlotte, this point is going to basically as soon as they see one. <laughs> and you can do that on your turn, Missy. Good, you just got a bad roll out. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't mean to press something. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why does this happen to me? I just try to keep my laptop awake or look at something. Oh, like, oh that makes you sense. Roll. That does make sense. <gasps> okay. Uh, next is actually the lizard, which will... It's gonna stand its ground, Tumulus. This is a showdown. <laughs> you are threatening its new territory. It stands its ground. There's more electricity it's zapping between the horns. And everything. <laughs> it, uh... You can tell that it is preparing to... You know, if you get close, it's gonna headbutt you. It, it kind of, the horns kind of give it a bit of a ridge for headbutting. They're not, they're in a d way that they couldn't like jab you with them because they're straight up, but. It's gonna puff out its little lizardy beard and go, bang. Kinda. Tumulus. Oh, and by the way, there is light from coming from inside. Like, light from inside the room. Tumulus would, would say, Perhaps that contains the potions. Motioning towards the chest down the way. Yeah, it's it's like a it's a wall chest too. It's like raised. Ooh. So oh, it say, looks oh, like yeah. a med box, right? And then he would say, "Magic should not be used for death. We should destroy the research here." I'm not sure that was entirely what we agreed to do. Our agreement was only implied. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we can have a discussion about it. <laughs> to our, our words. Amulus uh, will very motherly of you. Will approach you. Tell me this will approach the, the little lizard boy and um, like he sees how it is. And if it comes for him for a head, but he, I, I'd like to, I'd like to protect, prepare an action. I'd like to grapple it by its horns if oh. it comes in range. Okay, okay. It doesn't seem like the little blighter wants to die. I don't think Tommy Liss would just straight up go to murder. Ocean. Don't make lizard jam out of these creatures. They're too cute. And say that now. Time. Ocean, what uh, what are you thinking? I... So, you confuse me about how large these creatures are. Because I imagine them to be this big. <laughs> they are around the size of a large cat. Two hour. Well, yeah. Uh, They're kind of spindly. 
Um, this one is making itself look bigger by getting on its hind legs. Its horns of, and tail are quite long. Fat like they do. I love it when lizards make themselves fat to appear bigger. Yeah, it, 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 so, but they are that's, small that's size creatures. Okay, can Oshun pick up a jar that is the size of a cat? If there were one to pick up, yes. Should I investigate? Right now you are on stairs. On the side, to the side of you are walls. You can't currently see the lizard. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I will move further into the room. Holy shit. I you would, it, it does seem like something that might be around here in, on some of the setups and like, uh, if, if it's a lab or something. There might be a box of the appropriate size next to it. But you yeah. might have to empty out its extremely valuable con contents. Am I able to like, is this a place where I could search around for a sort of cat sized container? I will let you know when you see one. Ah. Right now you can see a box that is big enough to put it in, as uh, Neil said. This time I actually have pretty much put all the details on the battle map. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's much more use use your dang imagination, you filthy animals. Uh, but this is just a small little uh, room with some some deeps in it. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm... Oshun isn't wearing enough cloth to like wrap it. Up. You could get naked. It is an option. It's always an option. It's always an option. Can you imagine Jericho's face? Ocean comes out naked, holding the creatures. I mean, I shall that's swear, not a bad know. idea. <laughs> it's not. It's it's a genuine option. That's a good idea. Yeah, as if as if I shall is going to give up their clothing. <laughs> well, Ocean will ask, Ashar, may I have your clothes, please, to bundle this sparky creature with?" It's not a cloak, it's a full body robe. I thought you were going to say it was your skin. <laughs> May I borrow your full body robe and hood? No. <laughs> Would you strip <laughs> for me? <laughs> this is the only clothing I have. <laughs> they love how that is just great acting. The, the offense. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it tickles me. Uh, uh, I told you we'd have fun this session. <laughs> oh, you, you, you walk I, into I don't think person. anyone has ever asked Ian's characters to strip. That's very forward. I think quite a, some of my characters have willingly stripped, but <laughs> very rarely have they been asked. <laughs> How do I... Oh, Shun's so big. I think she's like holding the ceiling. And yeah, like, for can't sure. Can't get past. Um, can't get past. Tumulus. Tumulus. You can was... you can move through Tumulus if he is willing. Uh, bear in mind he is currently in like a counter attack stance. So going past him is probably not a great idea. Um. Do you have any ranged spells or I anything of the sort? I say, I didn't want to blow this so early, but I love that lizard so much. Um, Oshin will say, Ashal, please back up Tumulus um, so this thing doesn't scamper up the stairs. And Oshun is going to spider walk on the ceiling to get to the other side of the creature where the boxes are. Yeah? So, <laughs> so you're going to use spider climb. I uh, am. Is spider climb an action to cast or is it a bonus action? Let me see. I think it's, I think it's an action. Because as a drider, you can use spider climb once per day. That's web walker. That's yeah, web I'll walker is you don't have any penalties from webs spider climb uh, should be a spell on your spell sheet I, uh, if that's it might not be in there <laughs> but yeah, i be. haven't put it on because i wasn't aware of that bit so oh that's fair 
Uh, well, you know what? We'll look it up together. <gasps> we all learn together. We've seen Spider Climb a couple of times. It's I'm just, pretty uh, sure Spider Climb is an action. I That's my thing. If it's an action, you'll have to do this, prepare it, and then do it next turn, right? Um, yeah, Spider Climb is an action, so... Well, that's good, because I have a preparation thing I can do. It's a... Uh, well, do you want to do the Spider Climb... Do you want to cast Spider Climb now, so that you can move next turn? Or do you want to do something else now? Because basically you have uh, your option free. I'll prepare Spider Climb now. Okay. Uh, so this is a concentration spell, just so you know, but it lasts an hour. Uh, it I means you, you basically you gain a climbing speed. It's an action. You, you have to, if you want yeah. to move... And if you want to grab the thing next turn, if you use the spell this turn, you'll be able to walk over there next turn. Okay. Yeah, capture. that's what we're doing. That's the vibe. Uh, so, um, what you had previously may have assumed was a tattoo um, on Oshun's neck, her back, and her legs detaches itself from her body and she has very, very long spider legs. I was going to ask if anyone's seen the artwork of that for the massive spider sculptures. I don't know that what you're feels, on. But you've got, you've got spider legs basically <laughs> coming out of like the, the space on your back. You've got like four, yes, right? Yes, from like her spine. I shall cannot see this. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely takes... get a look from Tumulus. <laughs> it takes a bit of concerted effort to, you know, uh, just like an actual spider. I mean, like, these are filled with, like, fluid and, and magic and stuff. you got to, like, just get like them ready. Just like a spider, fluid and magic. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, I didn't school so good. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you can you can get ready to climb on the surfaces. Um, that's pretty excellent. Uh, I'll even give you a symbol. So just bear in mind this is a concentration spell. If you take damage, you might drop it. If you are okay. currently cr climbing, if you're currently upside down, that will make you fall. There's not enough distance in this room for you to actually take a penalty from that, other, unless you like fall on something. Uh, but just bear in mind, in the, in the future, fall damage is 10 feet or more. Um, okay. For this kind of thing. Uh, okay, Ashal, what are you feeling? Sorry, um, sorry, was that me? Um, it's your Ashal turn. Ashal will... Um, blah, 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 didn't really mean to move that far. Ashal will move down this far, see Oshun climbing on the ceiling. Or preparing to climb upon the yeah, ceiling. And see, also sees books in there, which are of great interest, but doesn't kind of, kind of doesn't want to get involved with that bit at the moment. So he's going to... Um, one, two, three, four, five... Six. Oh, more books. Um, I like to imagine a shell like heads down, and then as he turns and sees a shell, it's all his tentacles at one point they'll go whoop. Like, <laughs> yeah, whoop. pretty much. Like a, like a, just stand out straight. Um, <laughs> what's that creature that has like cuttlefish? Mm -hmm. uh, a shell will get to here. But I've had to dash to get this far and all. Yeah. But as you get to here, like to open and interact. Yeah, go, goes goes towards the chest and then sort of looks across and will call out, "There are more in the back." That's when you hear more zapping of electricity. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh boy. And that, yeah, because I dash that in my turn. Okay, let me read. Mummy long legs. Mummy long legs. Mummy long legs. Oh, yeah. excellent. No, don't zap me. I curse you with an ear roll. <laughs> you know what? Uh, the, the other ones that Ashal sees are not quite as uh, in the... You know, they're not in... Mortal Kombat yet. So th it's only going to be this one that attacks you right now. You see its its horns ready, more electricity arcs along it, and then it gets in a very deliberate position. All limbs on the ground, its tail kind of snaps into a very deliberate place. All the little oh, tiny it's plates. Me. And it makes it basically this three pronged entity 
the electricity zaps around between them and then in through the air, right into you, Tumulus. I'm going to need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. For a moment, I just had a weird thought of this being a Pikachu. These are not Pokemon, but they like are. they are Pokemon. They are Pokemon. <laughs> Clearly. You can even see a Pokemon doing that animation when it's like using a special attack. Oh yeah, because it's, it's because it's telegraph. Do I get the benefit of danger sense? Oh yeah, absolutely. I was almost even going to allow you to get a benefit just because you watched it do it because you kind of took the prepare action. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, There's that cursed Ian roll. <laughs> you you see this coming, Tumulus, but you don't move. <laughs> <laughs> Not fast enough to stop the electricity. Uh, and it's going to be a really powerful jolt of raw lightning that goes through you. Um, I would say it lets you see your bones, but... Uh, it's going to be 16 lightning damage. It's going to leave a burning smell in the air, and then the little beastie is going to scuttle. Oh, block the stairs! <laughs> I mean, the door is closed, but like, it's a metal door. You didn't, I tell you, you didn't come tell back. me you closed the door. Chance is going to wake up and and we're just going to just gonna be on, on their own. <laughs> oh my god. We're babies. That's Tumulus. a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. It's all superficial. But... It was a lot of damage. Tell me this would stagger back from that and cough up smoke. No! <laughs> <laughs> and then he's going to make his way forward and check the chest. Uh, inside the chest is honestly a lot of metals. Like ingots. Uh, ingots of... You don't know what they are. But yeah? it's just metals. Yeah. Can he yeet the box to break, to like smatter ingots across this? Let me draw a shape. Yes! To smatter ingots across here? You could, yeah. I'll allow that, absolutely. Let's, let's put some earthing down. You just. Yeah, he just absolutely. <laughs> now, here's a question There is also a bit of a splash when it gets really far. It does seem like this far part of the room is is damp. Okay, that would be your action. Oh, Shun. I am going to... Um... So... Am I allowed to skitter on the ceiling as movement? Yeah, basically, the way Spider Climb works is now whenever you move, you can move vertically, horizontal. You can move on any surface. Um, <laughs> practically, that doesn't give you a whole lot right now, but I mean, it does mean you can have a height advantage on melee attacks, yeah. which is kind of cool. Like, eight foot <laughs> something. Oh, shoot. Just on the ceiling. <laughs> and then it's going to, like back flip fall on the other side of the um lizard creature where did it go it ran away it ran away oh, fine just gonna grab that box in that case yeah so uh yeah tummy list just emptied the box i have the box and i'm going to use command you will have to move into a place where you can see the lizard i need to see the lizard yes. oh. Everything's difficult. Yeah. Well, if you move to a range where you pick up the box first, right? If, if you want to pick up the box, that's what you're going to have to do. It would be for most people an understand. action to pick up the box, but not really for you. That would just be a free action. Uh, it's not working out. Oh, wait. Now I see. <laughs> My screen is zoomed out too much. Now I, now I see everyone. Okay. All right. Box, pick up. Box, get in the box. <laughs> like I, I said earlier while you were panicking, Yes. as you're a large creature, this is just like a free action. You weren't carrying anything, so you can just hook. <laughs> right, an empty box. 
uh, the space in front of you is covered in the shiny metal ingots that have been slipped out onto the ground by Tumulus that were inside the box. And the lizard, plus its lizard friends, are before it. So you've moved, you got the box. What would you like to do next? After this, we might take a little break, Arena. To recharge. Gonna make hot chocolate. Yeah. I'm gonna make what, what? What? What hot drink do you make for electrical burns? Hot vinegar. <laughs> do I have healing spells? Ah, uh, fine. I, mean, I just have a box. Of... I mean, you could da use your action to dash across the ceiling so you're above it, so you can drop the box on next time. Yes, this these this dangerous terrain that Tumulus has just spilled onto the floor of of slippery ingots. Uh, you can just climb over that and get on to ab above it, right? Because you are above it, you can basically be right beside it. Yeah. All right. And prepare to box it next time. I will prepare to box the lizard. Okay. Uh, so, just to, just to reiterate the scene, okay? You've gone down into the lab. You see a lizard that is sparking electricity. You kind of give a stalemate because it's like a beast, you know? It's like, okay, it's, it, it'll act like a beast does. It shoots electricity at Tumulus. Ocean picks up empty box, skitters across ceiling, trying, getting ready to just whoop the, the <laughs> box on top of it. Um, excellent. Excellent. Uh, as Charles, meanwhile, is doing nothing in the corner. As Charles is doing nothing, as all Ian characters do. Door. Oof. Yeah, so, I was going to say, it's about as effective as normal, so... <laughs> yeah. We will be back uh, in around five minutes after these commercial messages. Have you seen Amazon's The Boys? Well, if you haven't, it's sure as hell going to advertise it to you. Uh. <laughs> we'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Is that a true story? <laughs> oh, okay. So, as Charles, absolutely not doing anything ridiculous right now. No, of course not. I That's don't know good balance, you... though. To be fair, I mean, there's something so round it's, and it's squish. A beautiful, it's a beautiful flat surface. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, as Charles is going to look in the chest. Okay, like I said, it's kind of on the walls. So it's literally like a medical one. Yep. Um, because that's so easy, um, it's going to be like an action to open and then grab the things as well. Okay. I'm going to be nice. Um, yep. Mounted inside are two potions. One is clearly a health potion. It's the typical kind of red uh, yep. in a kind of conical flask. The other is electric blue and is, has, in case of incidents, written on it in a label. Okay. Um... In case of in case of incidents, very very interesting. Um, is it would it be a full action to identify to attempt to identify that potion or? I think so because it's very involved. Uh, okay. But but you know, you could also take an educated guess. Yes, it, it would take an educated guess. Um, pity we haven't got an educated guess in the room. Um, <laughs> Everyone is no, not everyone is frozen. Not from like everyone is frozen. Um, no, we're just I'm we're just book. waiting. <laughs> See what will happen. Or the exciting uh, situation. Six books. You're gonna, you know. Okay. I, I shall got distracted by the books. I mean, I've used my action anyway, so. Yes, that's true. You can head up over here. Yeah. Uh, with both potions in hand. Yeah. Stone maybe, uh, maybe in one arm, whatever. Yeah. Um. Great. I love this. It's lizard time. <laughs> this guy, this lizard that you've been chasing, you want to make it your friend, Ocean. It's already zapped Tumulus. It whips around, seeing that you're scuttling on the ceiling towards <laughs> it, and it opens its mouth, and its tongue lolls out, and it 
solidifies, you know, the tail spikes and the electricity will zap between. And that's when you see electricity zap from the other lizard. And this okay. lizard. They will, the electricity beams will no. tsh, 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 into the central lizard. Yeah, and... Oh my god, are they, like, transformer into Overpowered <laughs> blast from this lizard. A explosion of lightning, basically in a ring, you know, will launch out. Um, Tumulus, you're actually out of range, as well as you put all that electricity there to suck up some of the electricity. Or just put all that metal there to suck up some of the electricity. Unfortunately, Ocean, that you're on the ceiling far uh, above it, so you're not going to get any benefit from that. You're just going to have to take this on the chin. Uh, please give me a dexterity save. She's so big. <laughs> It's going to be quite a heavy attack due to the lizards channeling their energy together. Come on! That's a really good save. Now let me see if you take any half damage. Any half damage? Wait, what? Because sometimes when you take, oh, in case make a save, free. sometimes you take oh, yeah, half yeah, yeah. damage. Yeah. I just presumed Ooh. it was because lightning bolt is half. In this case, you actually can dodge everything. Oh, um, it all goes into the metal. Yeah, you can you can kind of dance back on your spider legs enough that the wave of electricity goes into the metal ingots on the ground. Enough uh, energy in them to make the metal kind of dance and pop off the ground with so much power. Um, as well as send electricity off. arcing through all the, like, the puddles and things. Um... <laughs> It leaves this lizard, you know, a little tuckered out. It's like, <sighs> after channeling all of that. Um, I'm going to call him Tucker. There's one lizard that didn't take part in the overload. And it's this one. Surprise <gasps> <Stop. Stop. laughs> Oh, Lord, he coming. It's going to actually zip past you. Now, Oshun, because it's a five foot tall room and you are on the ceiling, it's still in your range of attack to make an attack against it uh, as it passes. Right now, you're holding a box. That is your weapon if you wanted to make an opportunity attack. <laughs> it would be strength-based. All right. Uh, do you have a strength-based weapon that you can do? Or just give me a strength roll, and then we'll add I'll the give you a strength roll. Um... It being a large box, I will put make this a D6 <laughs> uh, improvised weapon. That's a good point. Slashes, uh, Ashar could be holding the, the, the potions with the tentacles, but I don't know if people will want to drink them then. Um, let me check the armor class. What's your um, proficiency bonus that's going to be added to that? It's what, like three? Two. Two? Yeah, uh, yeah. you can kind of like... Whew, <laughs> Swing the box at it, kind of. It's not really going to do much. And this lizard is going to get nice and close to Tumulus and is going to kind of dash at him. Oh, Lord. He, he is coming. Tumulus, what's your armor class? Uh, 15. In the lizard's head, it's he like... gets exactly X 15. Can't give it to you. He can't give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on in Neil's head. When he rages. <laughs> Okay, it's going to be four bludgeoning damage from the headbutt. But you better believe it's actually piercing damage. Never mind. Uh, from little spikes in the teeth. Um, you better believe there's lightning damage too. It's going to be four lightning damage. It, it literally vault tackled you. I don't have any other way to describe that one. I'm sorry. Uh, Gotta catch them all. After that, it's your turn. Tomolino. Um, this thing charges into Tamulus and he, like, raises an arm, recoils as it zaps and stabs him. And then he but reaches forward for it. Because you're technically a corpse, would it die? <laughs> no, it's a scavenger. Ah, oh, oh, that makes sense. He eats dried meats. And that rhymed. Um, and Tamulus will say, that is enough. 
and his eyes <laughs> flash with red as he reaches forward. Um, Whoa. Uh, and he's going to grab the thing on its horns, hopefully. Oh, you're going to grapple it? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Okay, let's see what grapple stats this thing has. It's going to try and dodge. It's better with that. Um, so please give me an athletics check. It got a good roll. It got a really good roll. But you do have advantage. You just roll gooder. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Neil with advantage can sometimes get things that you wouldn't believe. It got a 20, an unnatural 20. <laughs> um, but even, like, this thing starts dashing and dodging. You can still grip it by the horns, by the Y-shaped horns. The activity arcing uselessly, grappling the creature in place. Even like lifting it up on the grass, right? Yeah, yeah, he grabs it and lifts it up. And the slowly legs. you see, you see like, as his, because some of his fingers are bare, you see the bones beginning to squeeze into the hole. <laughs> we'll get back to that exciting programming later. <laughs> Ocean. Right now it's Ocean and the Fox. Ocean. Ocean has box. Lizard in front of you. Lizard tried to kill you. Uh, you dodged it. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be a uh, athletics check. Box the lizard. Box the lizard. Athletics. Uh-huh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it got a 21. Yeah, I should have known. Looking at the dice always fucks me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, And it's one of those ones where you don't even know. You put the box down as it kicks up all the dust in the air. And then you, you kind of like peer over it and you see the lizard behind the box. <laughs> like chirping and chirping away. Aww. So that's your action. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh... I think as a cleric you should have some bonus action spells. But bear in mind you are currently concentrating on a spell. Oh, I am. That's yes. Good. But you could... Because it's not, like, you could cancel comp concentration on spider climb, you would just drop to the floor semi-gracefully. Um, but you might want to keep it up for later, right? That's just just so you know. Yeah, I'll have a thinky think. Otherwise, that's it. Oh, okay, great. I was going <laughs> to say, hopefully a thinky think within the next, <laughs> you know, six seconds of your turn. I shall... Ashard is thoroughly confused by what is going on with their companions because one of them is trying to put the lizard in a box and the other has just grabbed it rather than like hitting it with anything. No, the precious babies. Ashard is Ashar is just until Green. something that makes sense to them. Ashard is just going to gla be looking at the looking at the titles of book or the, looking at these books no, and like we, no. <laughs> Absolute no! <laughs> Oh dearie dear. Okay. Let's see I what's sure in the bookshelf. <laughs> I mean, they're probably all in Elven anyway, so I probably can't understand. Them, they are but... not. Oh, okay. It's a variety of books of languages, most in uh, under common. Um, some, honestly, they look like picture books to you. Uh, very weird. Um, oh, oh, I get it. I shall doesn't, but Ian uh, But Ian does. Um, the a lot of these books unfortunately have been damaged by the the dust that have kicked in and the electricity arcing around the place. So the ones that you can see are mostly damaged. But there is a poison craft tome uh, on how to uh, implement uh, poison to your weaponry. That's going in the bag. Um. <laughs> And then, as uh, the, the Ashal, like the the equivalent of clicking their tongue for a, <laughs> for an Hibimari snap and, like, a the, tentacle, yeah, snap a tentacle um, of, of the damage to the rest of them, and will then just take a step away from the bookcase and is just still looking on in utter confusion at what the hell their companions are trying to do. But is at least now like a bit more invested in the fight. Don't worry, I'm sure they won't be doing much soon. Oh, by the way, 
I need to move the things so that the box la, 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 is in the proper place. La, 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 la. Yeah, it's the classic! <laughs> Everyone loves the la 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 Box. And it is a big box, so like, the lizard can't attack you over the box. Unless... Unless it climbed on top of the box. No! <laughs> I think she's just like... Uh, and it is literally gonna like hop up and basically headbutt you in the head. Uh, or try. What's your armor class, Ocean? I'm gonna use a different dice because this pink one has been getting like way too good luck. Uh, Eat it. Uh, Eat it's it. gonna be a 23. <laughs> so that luck. is gonna be a hit. I think I just had good luck today. Sorry. Uh, it's going to be, uh, what is that added up? It's going to be six piercing damage plus two lightning damage, eight damage altogether, Ocean. Well, he's like, oops, Does this do anything to my headdress? Does it, like, crack or deflect anything, or is it just... If you wanted, it could be a shot directly to, like, the, the, the jewel in the middle of your headdress that cracks it. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Oh, and I, I guess so. She wouldn't be happy about it. You're the but... one who suggested it. It's ca it's roleplay. It's character uh, development. Yes, and... Yeah, that's why he, I shall is being so utterly useless. It's roleplay! <laughs> <laughs> it's just what my character would do. Exactly. Uh, oh god, oh, it's coming! Ocean. Oh lord! You don't really have a weapon equipped right now, so it can just dash past you. Oh lord, he coming! Oh lord, no, he coming. go away! I know how to get Ian invested in a fight. <laughs> like squishies. Tumulus, you have the bull by the horns. Uh, Tumulus uh, would like to try and break the horns off. Okay. That would be, I guess, just athletics, just for ease, right? With advantage. Perfect absolutely, balance. that is absolutely going to just—it's it, a—it's a—it's a hard thing to do, right? These these horns are very tough. I mean, uh, they probably have a like a big deal of like metal inside them to conduct electricity, uh, and when you snap them off. The creature visibly, like, weakens a lot. Um, but it's not dead. Not quite. But of course would be very... Um, it could still bite you and claw you. It still technically has its tail. <laughs> but not enough for it to arc any kind of electricity. Do you want to keep grappling? Or do you want to let it go? Uh, I will keep it grappled because that, that would have been my action, so... I may as yeah. well keep it grappled until next turn, then I could drop it and slap it. Just give it a kick. kick. <laughs> Across the room. Give it a good boot. Ocean, you have been uh, headbutted by the lizard you are trying to form a bond with. <laughs> Alright, Ocean's gonna say, fuck this, and drop spider climb. Instead, going to cast Calm Emotions. Bear in mind that that targets humanoids, so it would only target Tumulus and Ashal. Just humanoids? It Instead says it right there on the document. Darn. Okay. Yep. You see, the trick is animals don't have emotions. <laughs> I know, right? Wait, Calm Emotions is you, deliberately... Where's the coast? What are you saying? Okay. Well, Wait, you see, that's, here, that's here's your problem. That targets humanoids. I love the that's... idea of, like... A tag, but yes. Uh, if you target, so that's a ranged spell attack. If you want to attack the one in front of you, you would have disadvantage. If you wanted to attack the one attacking Ashal or the one Tumulus has or the one, the other one in front of you, it'd be fine. Okay. Um. In that case, <laughs> can I? I can't just eat the creature off. You could, uh, yeah, you could yeet the box and therefore yeet the creature. In many ways, it's circumnavigating the difficulty of trying to yeet it. Yeah. yeah. I was like, how do I get this thing off the box or further away? And I was just like, yeah. Yeah, I will just absolutely, absolutely allow you to throw the box and therefore throw the lizard. Oh. Give me an athletics check. 
I love I, the look on I, his little face. It's like being all defiant and whatnot. And then she she goes down, she grabs the the box, and it goes. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the start of this battle, I was just thinking, oh, this is just a typical D and D encounter. And now I'm feeling sorry for these poor lizards. One of them's had its horns ripped off. The other just got yeeted. I can still. It's not got yeeted myself. yet. <laughs> we'll see what the dice have to say about this. <sighs> I'm just so desperate not to hurt them. Yeeting can hurt. A little. Especially. Oh. I mean, they may have murdered a man, for all we know. Athletics check, please, Ocean. They may be weapons. Uh... No! Oh, See, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't hurt the babu. <laughs> ah, a splinter. Oshun's a lover, not a fighter. She yeah. only stabs things that aren't big-eyed and mlemming at her. Your attempt to uh, further shenanigans with the box, unfortunately, is going to be unsuccessful. It's got those gecko feet. It's got those gecko feet, plus when you kind of grab the box, sometimes you don't know your own strength, uh, Oshun. You're very large. And it just kind of crunches through and the box kind of dissolves. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to try? That is your action, but you may have bonus actions. You still are spider climbing because you didn't uh, end up kept dropping your concentration. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. And Charles, yeah, this is still a very strange situation, but now one of them is coming to you. One of them <laughs> is actively threatening me now. Um, as Charles will now cast we'll like as this thing is charging we'll just cast maelstrom about there to try and mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. pull it away into the whatever that is oh no you destroy the book it's like it's like a sitting area <laughs> yeah. you're gonna knock it into a bench it does not have a good strength bonus it's going to fail fa 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 fail um so it's gonna be pulled within right yeah, uh, I would have been casting it like in this this square, basically trying to get it to towards the center. Yeah, so it is pulled like there, right? Um, excellent. Uh, it's also going to take the dam the damage. Uh, you're causing it to do psionic damage. Yes, because like all of my spells can do psionic damage instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um. And yeah, because it's it's like it's weird because it's when when as shall cast maelstrom, it's less an actual physical watery storm and sort of a weird psionic storm that does resemble water, but it's not quite. It's not if someone were to be in it, they wouldn't actually get wet. Yeah, but it's basically. Purple. That's pretty much yeah. And, and then I shall the lizard back up. is pulled away like it's on strings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> into Nashar the middle of the pool. Yeah. Oh, and then Ashar just fucking vanished off the map. Oh, there he is. <laughs> uh, awesome. The lizard that Ashar just pulled is going to kind of like hit the ground, hit the bench, and be like. <clears throat> it's going to head up this way. There is going to be a channeling of electricity and another channeling of electricity all into this most mischievous of boys no um oops it <laughs> is gonna whip around closer so can tumulus and ocean can you both give me dexterity saves tumulus you of course have advantage nice Ooh, do you want to know what the dc is about. for this it's well, 11 oh man uh, 11. Uh, okay. This is gonna hurt, friends. Stop rolling well, goddamn you. 
It's going to be 18 lightning damage as wow. an explosion of lightning. I mean, admittedly, two, so they, it gets stronger whenever they channel together, right? So it's all focused into this one lizard that as it kind of starts running past Ocean, there is going to be this blast of lightning that seeps mm. into your bones. Now, don't worry, Ocean. This. Why didn't I fight the bastards? I don't know either. Um... <laughs> The this is going to leave you stable and not bleeding out, right? It's it's that we kind of those other ones. We're we're all gonna die. Sorry, this is actually a TPK to this. They're going to start nomming her corpse from the toes up. I just just feel bad for Neil. Really. <laughs> <laughs> well, how was D and D? We all died. Oh my goodness! There were a lot of turns where things could have been done. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're geckos. They're electric geckos. They're like little you, angry Komodo dragons. Hmm? They could be friends. Not with those red circles, they can't. All right. Ocean, you're going to flop to the ground. Her, her spider legs are to go. <laughs> <laughs> Tumulus. Uh, oh, you know what else is going to happen? Without the protection of the horns and the tail, the lizard that you were holding, Tumulus, is thoroughly fried uh, no. by the electricity. Oh. oh. The boy. Is Tumulus going to take a bite? <laughs> no, oh. this lizard That's is going to heal. Tricked. Yeah. Oh, well, I suppose, whatever. I guess Tumulus had to die at some point. One, two, three, four. Uh, Tumulus will swing his sensor. Okie dokie. <sighs> and I miss. We're dead. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it is a miss! It is a Charles mess. You. The lizards are going to keep on, uh, you know, you 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 take them like a heavy swing, but it's a very dexterous, very hyper mobile uh, creature. Mm -hmm. Ocean, that... you are unconscious but stable. I shall. I shall. Like, there's a moment where I shall clearly consider seeing Oshun go down and seeing Tumulus probably on their last legs. There is definitely a moment where I shall considers legging it. Yes. And pauses. And you could, you could, if anyone was watching, you could see, like, even with this very difficult to understand sort of <laughs> Ebimari, the, like, and torn. And then. <clears throat> goes back. One, two, three. You've got to save them, Ashal. My friends. Aww. There are people who might be friends. And what I am going to do um, as a bonus action before I cast a spell of first level of higher, of Tempestuous Magic moves me an extra 10 feet. And <laughs> then I will. Um... The floaty boy gets a little. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then I will cast um, Wind of Respite um, on the two of you to give you one of those should be regular We've talked points. about this before. Oh, yes, that's excellent. Yeah, so one of them is 10 HP because we talked about this before just for how we want to run our games. A 10 HP doesn't bring people back up. Yeah. But Wind of Respite is a Yavaskir spell, which gives yeah. 10 HP and also a bit of healing if yeah. someone is actually uh, damaged as well. Yeah. So at some that point means... they've broken, something's broken my spell. So, yeah, yeah, don't worry. We, we, we can translate it. So both Ushon and Tamulis, you're going to heal five, and then you're going to get a bonus three temp HP on top of that. So that is going to make you conscious again, Ushon. Mm. Okay, so and we heal five and get an extra three temp. Yeah. And as shall will hold out the uh, blue potion to time and say, drink this! Suck it down! Yeah, you, you want to grab Keep that? Keep your shipping it. for when you're alive. <laughs> yeah, people who are unconscious don't get to ship. Them's the rules. 
<laughs> uh, the lizards, like a, like a, a <laughs> you know, like I, like in the anime. All oh, the protagonists are down, and then Ashar comes, and the, 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 the saving grace, the lizards are like, Nani. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all sort of confused. Oh my, one more shindig! <laughs> yeah, I could, you could have had the theme song is playing, the music <laughs> swelling. <laughs> um, <laughs> when you said this was a diplomatic heavy campaign. Yeah, it's still D and D. You still have to fight lightning lizards every now and again. <laughs> you can take the the. The, you could put the diplomacy in the D and D. You can't take the D and D out of the diplo. You know what I mean. I would have it no other way. Uh, Ashar, can you please give me a dexterity save? Because again, as the anime, it's like, well, here's clearly the, the protagonist here. It's gonna go and try and, try and, try and zap right? you with a blast of electricity. This isn't gonna be the ring. This is just gonna be the. Focus As I'm off. floating, do I not conduct electricity and therefore take no Give damage? me the save! <laughs> it was worth a try! <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be a success. You are not going to take... Uh, uh, you are going to take half damage on this one. The ring, if you save it, you take. You resist it all. For the shock, you will take half. It's going to be 13 halved to 6 lightning damage. And I hope the metal clanking of my new dice box is a nice ASMR sound, not a bad one. Um, you want to tap your nails against it. I don't have any nails because I eat them because I'm a freaking anxiety boy. Oh. <laughs> I'm a goblin as well. And this one is in front of Tumulus. Only got the range to do a little wee headbutt. Which... Tell me, what's your AC? 15. 15, it's going to miss just barely. Alrighty. Speaking of, the boy. You have been handed a blue potion. It's electric blue. It says warning in case of incidents in it. On it, on, oh. in Undercommon. Let's drink it then. You drink it and you feel uh, not only a burst of energy... But you feel the magic enter into your decrepit flesh, and the electric tension in the room no longer feels so biting as you gain resistance to lightning damage. Of course you do, of course you do. You knew what was happening here. Uh, that was a bonus action, Trinky, right? Of course. Uh, I'm going to reckless attack, because I don't like missing. <laughs> <laughs> and hit this boy. <laughs> Hopefully. That is going to be a hit. It would have so, been a big boy miss if it wasn't with advantage. I know, right? So it was the right choice. And it's a big uh, boy it's, hit. It's, it, is, it is hit and it is scrunched onto the ground like a pancake. Good. It is worth noting that as Tumulus swings his, his sensor into it and it goes splat, the sensor, as it makes contact with it, flares with golden light. Uh, we're all anime now. <laughs> That's right. Literally, we're in screens. Like, so I'm like, like, like a Saiyan. Like cut up into that I reaction. Have my, like... I have my close to death experience, and now my power level has risen. This is exactly that. This is your close to death experience. Now you're going to be even stronger as a party. Soon we'll be able to do the fusion dance. <laughs> I haven't made rules for that yet. Though I do want to do the, the Etin rules. Uh, Ocean, you are conscious, but in a pile on the floor. Uh, everything hurts. Lizards are running past you. They don't even see you as a threat right now. Uh, I'm torn between, like, rain enfeeblement and trying to just grab this... The one atlas. in front of you? Yeah. I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> what with a grapple or uh, inflict wounds? Yes, the grapple. Oh, grapple. Okay, athletics check. Now you rolled badly, 
Yep. Because bear in mind, you haven't got any modifiers on this athletics check. You're making a lot of grapple attempts for someone who has no skill or talent in it. It's um, just I had bearded dragons as a child, and I I can't not see my lizard child's faces when like they're going squish. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay, little lizards. Now the lizards didn't know you were alive, so it is going to be grabbed by you with a eh! you Yay! Swaddle it to your bosom. As it struggles and wiggles. <laughs> and I hand it to <laughs> Tommy Uh you could if he was you could ha- hold it out to him, you'd have to get up and get closer or crawl closer, it's the same really. Um, because you're, like, 15 feet apart. I think both at the same time. I'm gonna be like, here, you, you potion, hold the lizard. I got one. Okay, so you hold it like that way. Okay, excellente. Excellente. Uh, as shall. Um... Well, I, I'm I'm definitely know what I'm going to hit. I'm just debating what to hit it with. I will sure. um, m- mind sliver the one above Tomulus that is not grappled. Of course. This intelligence save. Let's see the intelligence save of these beasties. <laughs> it's going to roll low. It's going to take that damage. Good. And then I will move round here. So that hopefully, if it decides to try and get, it will not get me. It is going to try and get. Uh, It is going to try and charge as much electricity as it can, although the other lizards cannot heed its request for power. Its need for additional pylons. Uh, it is going to try and overload. You are all in range. Please all give me dexterity saves. Oh I, no. I'm it's a much this. weaker attack because it's on its own. My what? Advantage natural 20, tummy plus. Come on, you've had three goes <laughs> at advantage dex saves and you failed each one. <laughs> 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 Shameful. Oh, shouldn't you succeed as Charl and Tamulus, you're going to take the full brunt of six lightning damage, halved to three for Tamulus. Which is actually convenient, because Tamulus did not have much HP to spare. And then it's your turn, Tamulus. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ocean. Tamulus, like, his eyes are red right now. Um... You hold out the lizard and no! he flicks the sensor, and we'll see yep, whether it's gonna have advantage. Can I contest this? <laughs> you offered it out to him. That's gonna be a hit. No! There's still one. Yep, please roll that extra damage. Uh... It is the difference between life and death for this lizard. You feel the struggling in your hands no longer. You see, oh, Tamulus sure. flicks the sensor out. It takes the poor thing's head off. Like, the sensor <laughs> flashes with golden light it as it goes. And then he, he instantly, like, he just looks away and you hear, you can hear, like, like, panting. But he doesn't need to breathe. Uh, like, it's the motions it's not, of panting, it's, right? Yeah, it's as if he was animated. You can see like his hands twisting on the grip of his sensor. It's not It's not like he has been before, where he's been relatively still. All of his movements are so animated and full of life. What? The plot thickens. Uh, what do you want to do, Ocean? <laughs> now after that. This last lizard. I'm going to grab this last lizard. <laughs> Just my, can my spider climb give me dex or something? Spider you are not climbing. spider climbing. All right, it, it yeah. Dropped. For that as your, 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 it your limbs. When I died, probably. Yeah. yeah, it's athletics. I'm gonna grab this lizard. Come to me! That's a better roll. You, these are, they're, they're lightning lizards. They're lizards. I've only managed it, to grab a it gecko. It gets a 15. 
Oh. If you want to do more grappling as Oshun, you're going to need some training. <laughs> I can get a fee. You could, you're going to need a... No, I think we need a montage. He's not been so <laughs> We need a montage. Well, what about feet? She wasn't playing baseball with the other Dark Elves. She was in a fucking cave <laughs> somewhere, communing with the deity. <laughs> Especially great, too, because, like, you, you, you're not... You're too big for this space. So you could, like, lumber up and be like... <laughs> like, try and grab the thing on the ground. Uh, if Tumulus were, like, conscious right now, it would be kind of funny. Uh... <laughs> Charles, your turn. I'm sorry, as much as Ian wants these lizards as pets, as Charles wants this thing dead, and he's just gonna mind sliver it again. This time it's got a minus D4. D That's D4. true, it stacks, don't it? Uh... It's gonna with the modifier. It actually got to like negative two on the roll. <laughs> oh my God. Um, it, it's a it's a lizard beast. It's not uh, got an intelligence modifier. Um, it's gonna so that that's almost buys you guys time, right? You can see uh, that the, the lizard isn't really able to like formulate any kind of strategy. I mean, it's a wild creature, but even then, after a moment of thought, a, a, a wild creature is just like, okay, this is the, what I'm doing, fight or flight. It can't focus on that. It keeps sort of twitching and, and fidgeting and, and is unable to, to uh, work out what to do next. Um, it is going to make a attack against Tumulus. You didn't Reckless last turn. So it's a regular one. Uh, it's going to hit. Unless you get more AC when you're raging, which I don't think you do. Um, it's going to hit for... Fine, I can take it. It's going to hit for three piercing. It's going to do four lightning, which is halved to so two. They're both halved because I'm raging. Because so you're raging. Okay, two, good point. So five. Uh, what was the other one? Four, so two. Sometimes yeah. three. Okay, that's fine. Chip damage the barbarian to death. <laughs> and then it's your turn. This thing is injured. Its mind's being assaulted. Its little baby lightning lizard mind. Uh, Tumulus will reckless raise his great sensor above his head and bring it down. So for you guys, who are of course more aware of what's happening, just so you know like the combat strategy, you can see when Tumulus makes these attacks, he leaves himself completely open and doesn't focus at all on defense. So you know that for uh, formulating plans, right? He's going to be very uh, open to any kind of damage. Um, just like this lizard, which is now open after taking 17 damage. Uh, it By which we mean... It's insides, are now it's outsides. Hey, you said it, not me. With that heavy thunk, the last lizard in the chamber is vanquished. The evil is defeated. <laughs> and, uh... Yay! What's the next step for you all? Is this another emergency chest? It is, yeah. As Shah is looting it. It has two health potions in it. Two more health potions. I will take it. Um, and, like, as Shah as Shah is like, as Shah definitely sort of looks at the other two and then just floats deeper into the chamber to sort of examine the Look magic around. that have been going on and see if they can glean anything about them. You can give me an Arcana check, absolutely, my friend. Mm. It's a kind of magic you're not very used to because it is what most people would call Arcana tech. Melding the skills of blacksmithery and metallurgy with that of magic. Um, one thing you do notice is crystals stored in the room. Um, uh, the crystals are usually sitting on uh, kind of wax paper which suggests they've been brought quite a long way like they've been basically used an official form of transit you know the royal mail or whatever 
Um, right, they've been brought here deliberately for, for experimentation. Um, it looks like a good deal of stuff has also been destroyed uh, or just damaged in here. But it also looks like, honestly, they probably weren't doing anything groundbreaking anyway. Like Jericho said, this was a secondary team. Um, a lot of them were probably working off the research of someone else, trying to either emulate it or just get a further understanding of it so that they're not relying on just one uh, uh, artificer um, for the nation, right? Um, there's not really much you can glean uh the only thing of interest is one of the most undamaged things which is very confusing uh it's clearly the housing for some of these arcana tech things they're working on um it's a long piece of metal probably around uh three feet long and it has spaces in it for housing things and grooves like a channel dug through most of the middle but not all the way um very confusing uh to probably all of you um as Shaw is going to as Shaw is thinks that that would be probably the most dangerous thing to take it would be the most thing that would be most easily missed and as a result is not going to take that they are going to make like a, they are going to examine it for a couple of minutes memorize its shape as best they can hmm. and then we'll pocket one of the crystals <laughs> because that seems ones, like yeah yeah because that uh, seems like something that would be that they would that would be more explainable as destroyed by the creatures <laughs> when you pocket it you can actually recognize that the like after a moment of like looking it's regular aether crystal it's very well mined aether crystal is hard to mine um so it's not got any kind of impurities or like chunks of like rock or anything but it is just a small easily carried around piece of aether crystal it looks like it would even fit in some of the housings in that thing on the table ian's got a whole list of shit in his inventory yep. <laughs> as Charles is a bit of a kleptomaniac <laughs> um, it's only been five yeah. sessions Yes. Um, so obviously, both the book that they've lifted and the crystal are wet, going to be well hidden before they go back upstairs. But they um, rustle around you. Um, Oshun is going to stand up fully as much as she can, brush herself off, and just say, "Well, is anyone in any need of a healing word?" I think the two of you are more in need of it than I am. When you, like, speak, Tamulus would turn and grunt and be like, Ugh. and then he blinks a few times and staggers slightly and puts down the sense of like, resting against it, and you see his eyes have retained the normal colour. Why, <clears throat> <I>, uh... Tamulus? <clears throat> Sorry. I lost myself for a moment there. Where did you go? What I was made for. He looks down, like, at the bloody splatters and then shuffles away from them and says, I had all of them. As far as I can see, yes. I'm thinking about. I mean, we could just go to sleep, or I could try a healing prayer for everyone. You could do healing prayer. You probably don't want to do it down here. That's a short rest activity. Well, it's not. It's a. It's just you're sitting around for ten minutes while you're you're casting it on them, right? So. Well. You... We've got someone who's looting the place. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that looting took ten minutes, right? And it was he's already he's already done. Um, yeah. We. You could do that like upstairs or something. Should like tell Devaskos what happened here and Absolutely. caution him against such dangerous activities. Absolutely. Okay, you're gonna go head up upstairs to Jericho's office again. Uh, 
smelling singed <laughs> collectively. Uh, yeah, like your, your hair is even even bigger than usual, Hoshin. Hoshin's hair is big hair now. <laughs> like t takes up the whole <laughs> corridor. Like as you're going through it, it's just a big hair with an ocean in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> like that one Pokemon in He's the new game. He's gonna tuck her legs away. It's an ocean legs are of hair. Cling back to her her back and stuff, and she's just going to. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry if I surprised anyone, but let's carry on. Let's keep moving. I'm just gonna move her hair sort of like back in front of her. And, like... <laughs> Start pruning through it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as shall was, as shall definitely when when those two move off after after she done that, as shall definitely hangs back for a moment in sort of like. It's one of those moments of like consideration and sort of what sort of thing, like what have I gotten myself into sort of thing, but will maybe with a bit more reluctance than it might have been shown previously follow. <laughs> no, I'm fine. You can catch Jericho outside of his office. He'll see you, uh, mostly Yashun. It's pretty hard to see behind Oshun, the other two right now. <laughs> Uh, and he'll kind of peer through and see that they are still alive, uh, even if a bit sun singed. Like, well, it I. It was a successful mission. <laughs> I uh, trust that you 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 got the job done. You all right? You look quite um shocked. Oh yes, perfectly fine. Everything's taken care of. Um. Do practice some caution uh, when going about uh, electric lizards. Thought you might want to know. Hopefully, huh. nothing like this will happen again. I know you said it's not your department, but those things could have crawled into your steam room and killed you in the blink of an eye. <laughs> and, then, and he slowly <laughs> blinks his so eyes. Just like one and then the other. <laughs> no, I knew you did that blink. <laughs> uh, I will. Yes. If even such a small lab could have an accident that en encourages encroachments of such unpleasant beasts, that yes, we'll we'll have to stop everything that happens here in this operation. I do hope that the lab in Warsprawl has not had the same problems. Do I smell a follow-up mission? <laughs> you can if you want. You would know, uh, Ocean, that the Warsprawl is the region of Narashiro. It's a district in Narashiro. That was the original diplomacy district, hence the Warsprawl. It was made very quickly to manage the war. Um, it is... Uh, you know, it was started to get semi abandoned and pointless by the when you were still in Narashiro, and it's been a while since then. Um, seems a weird place for for a lab. Really tempted for Oshu just to pull a notebook and pen from out of her hair. <laughs> why just, why like, wouldn't you? Down, yeah, just reinsert it. <laughs> it's not like Oshu is carrying any other backpack. Just carry everything in your hair. When I was a child, I once lost a whole pencil in my afro and I lost it for like a good five minutes. I looked for it for a long time. It was it, it just gone. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I know I've used this joke before, but I always introduce you as my smartest friend. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Jureko will will hear and we'll go. We'll cease all operations down there immediately. Honestly, it, it seems foolish to do experiments under Parliament, but... Yes, they could fit through pipes. Water pipes. Steam pipes. Yeah, I get it. Okay. <laughs> if you have an issue with how I spend my time... I'm sure it is an electrifying hobby. <laughs> Tommy will slash to himself. Yeah. 
As Sean well, isn't laughing, Ian is. <laughs> I. Are you sure Sean isn't going? <laughs> <laughs> I will see to it that Bryce gets the forms that they need. That we can get some sort of arrangement. All sorts of towns have little taverns outside as little hotspots. He'll probably need more funding than I can schmooze for him. But I'll try and get some stuff for him. That was the deal. I am an elf of my word. Did Olgzua Ol ever give us, like, a professional title for occupation? No. Just, just diplomats from Olgzua. Yeah, you're Other you're fish. you're like Relax. a dip. You're like a diplomatic attaché. But if you guys come up with a better, if you guys come up with a party name, that's uh... lizard smashes. <sighs> Hi everyone, we're the lizard smashes. Thanks for having us. One, two, three, four. I was gonna say that is a rock band. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, and like, it's be like, you're not ready for it yet, but your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and that's that's your your dealings done. Uh, unless you want to do anything else, tell me this would like to catch a Charlotte's with leaving the parliamentary building. Sure. Yeah. Like once, Ocean's just headed up a little bit ahead. He stops and he looks at a Charlotte and says, "You are a coward." <gasps> but. You stayed. And he reaches out her hand and pats him on the shoulder. Thank you. As Shaw, as Shaw will like, I, I, I get, do, does Tumulus leave it at that and move off or does Tumulus stay? He begins moving. He, he smiles slightly, pats on the shoulder, smiles slightly and begins moving. As, uh, like, as Tumulus moves off, maybe even too quiet for Tumulus to hear, as Shaw will murmur to himself, I am a survivor. But will after a few seconds follow anyway. My <laughs> ship. <laughs> it nearly sank in its infancy. The whole party <laughs> nearly sank. <laughs> Not just the ship. The whole dang frickin' fleet. All right. Uh, you're ready to leave Kavanari? Hells yeah. <laughs> small lightning lizards. <laughs> Never have I been so nearly murdered by such small pathetic creatures in D&D before. It's so hard because <laughs> literally like everything is equally important to Ocean. It's that weird line where it's like fucking minerals may not be important but trees are important and then animals are important and animals are pretty much on par with people so it's like yes everything dies but everything also deserves to live it's ugh, it's real hard bear in mind with like your melee attacks and stuff you can't not <laughs> i know inflict wounds is melee doesn't count you can do non-lethal damage we might be I was able to get. About trying to knock one out, but even that, I was like, "What if I kill it?" Ugh. Maybe if a Shun doesn't get, because uh, listen, every cleric starts with this opinion, and then a few levels later, they're throwing out inflict wounds at high level, <laughs> <laughs> regardless of whether they. There's the old uh, here be heroes uh, Will's character mm -hmm. being like, "I'm a support wizard." By the end of the campaign, inflict wounds at third level. You know that was the go to. <laughs> Um, but maybe like a, a, a non-lethal spell ability could be something that Ocean could look into as a yeah. feat. Uh, if, if you don't Raven have character development. Go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh Inflict Wounds is just such a good spell. We've all been inflicting with that curse. It, it is. It's it just, too powerful. It reminds me of I don't remember what the anime is called, but you know when like in like just psh, blood. That's how I imagine inflict wounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We also talked about uh you having like ethereal daggers that you stab into people to use inflict wounds too, which is oh, a wow. cool idea too. Nice. 
<laughs> Oshun's just gonna have a club, just be like, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> They're very affordable. Uh, it's like an ethereal dagger with some ethereal cloth and padding <laughs> tied around. <laughs> <laughs> Go to sleep, please. Ethereal barbed wire wrapped around the ethereal club. <laughs> You're leaving Cavanari behind completely. Hell's, hell's... Get back on uh, your beetle and start heading out. Yes, please. Anything but Cavanari. <laughs> You'll forever remember Cavanari as the city that you nearly died to a bunch of lightning lizards. I really will. I'm sorry, Nil. I'm sorry. <laughs> they didn't get to be a part of this fun show. Oh boy. <laughs> what would we have done? What would we have said? Nothing. We wouldn't have said anything. What? what? So she just, she just turns up next week and it's just her. Guess what? We've all re rolled characters. <laughs> We, oh uh, you're gonna head towards Narashiro on the road? Yes. Okay. Oshun's gonna suggest on the road we brainstorm a name that we can leave people with because he seemed real confused about who we were and what we were doing there. <laughs> yeah, you more need like a title, right? Or like yep. a good noun for you rather than like a party mouth name for branding. Sauron. You need I something. The mouth of Sauron. <laughs> no, what you who, who is a Sometimes sour. Sometimes anonymity has its benefits. That Alternatively, is Oshua's auxiliary. <laughs> I was surprised Tommy <laughs> could say that one. <laughs> well, I think he couldn't, based on that <sighs> gulp of honey and lemon. No, I love the idea of him just laughing to himself and then choking. <laughs> yeah. Humor hurts. We know some people does. like that. It does. Speaking hurts, Tumulus. Humor hurts, Tumulus. Awesome. Okay. I prayer think. Healing. Prayer of healing. Prayer of healing. Oh, yeah, you could do a prayer of healing, like when you get back on the palanquin. For sure, absolutely. Because I also want to, with Tumulus's consent, experimentally heal him. Sure, you you should you can see whether the prayer will work, right? Yeah. Um, go ahead and click prayer healing for me. I don't think it'll be set up to do the, the numbers automatically. I think it was like two d six healing for everyone, but we'll see. There we go. Done. Awesome. Okay. Uh, it's a 10 minute cast time, I believe. So it's like when you're back on the palanquin, right? Before you head yeah. anywhere. Comfy, comfy um, you can weave together a very natural prayer um, that helps set wounds and prepare uh, yourselves. You know, as a grave cleric, your, your prayers are very much, you know, in that gray area between life and death. And it does help repair the injuries that Tumulus has faced. Uh, only the recent ones. It's not turning dead flesh back alive, but is helping, uh, you know, uh, bring a little bit back of, like, elasticity back to this soot-born skin that he's uh, gained from being electrically shocked, like, five times by tiny lizards. <laughs> um, so it definitely damage. helps. It definitely helps. It definitely helps. And, and, you know, 10 healing is a lot of healing, right? Timeless just has a lot of health. <laughs> I can try and do some research. Uh, we can go into um, city libraries and see if there's anything we can unearth that may assist your healing process, Timeless. I'm sure maybe certain priesthoods might have gathered some healing information over the time. Unless you mean advanced methods of embalming. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Well, I mean, necromancy goes one way. I'm sure it can go another. This <laughs> is what I am now. 
I am not who this body was. To change that would be <laughs> to kill me. I am more than just the corpse of this person. I am changed, added to. You saw a glimpse of that in the basements. I have been forged for a purpose, and I will find it. That doesn't change the fact that we care about you, Tumulus. I appreciate it. Gonna just wipe lizard juice off. <laughs> oh, you were doing the whole prayer with lizard juice on you? Really? <laughs> I That's nasty. am sorry about that. That's all right. Everything has its time. I think, well, I can't know if their time was now, but in any case, I'm just glad that we're all mostly standing in one piece. We very nearly weren't. Yes, and I apologize about that. I really should. I cannot compromise um, what makes me who I am and the faith that I follow as it has it's a clear path that I walk on well but that doesn't mean I should endanger you luckily we are traveling with a hero no he looks at Shao. <laughs> as Shao, like just the, the, the sort of the tent, the tent, the mouth tentacles just go, just sort of goes still, and there's like a bit of a frown. <laughs> just like, how how do, <laughs> how do, <laughs> that exists? That is definitely how they frown. It's the yeah, frown. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure the tentacles don't go? No, that's <laughs> that. You have to be a serious diva. To make eyebrows out of your face tentacles <laughs> as a mind flare. That's pretty out there. It's pretty wild. It's um, it's mind flare drag. <laughs> That's what that is. I deeply attach to the idea of mind flare drag <laughs> instantaneously. Now it's all I care about. <laughs> uh, please, please is there this. a proper reply from Ashal or just a a, a glower? I, I... <laughs> I shall, um, will, will, do not expect that of me. I hadn't expected it in the first place, but I am reassured to see that you are a creature of faith. <laughs> there is a, a choke, a, a like hacking laugh at that. Doesn't doesn't actually say. Of course, anything. yeah. With that, you can start getting your beetle to head westward towards Narashiro, leaving Kavanari and whatever lurks under the city behind. Uh... <laughs> you have nightmares about this little lizard. <laughs> <laughs> As you should. Um, 
you can start on towards the fungal forests of Narashiro. Still quite a long way to go. It's a very large forest uh, and a long way. And of course, you'll be able to stop off at Gokan before you get to Narashiro, if you so wish. There may be a certain goblin among you that wishes. We left chance in the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just curled up in the ball. You just left, uh, left them in the hotel room. That's funny. Um... <laughs> But that's a perfect place to leave us off today. Uh, we had a little, uh, a fun little session, did we not? Um, it was great fun. <laughs> I can't wait for um, Nil's standalone episode. Just them having a glorious day. <laughs> oh, that's what. I, yeah, really the, the, what happened yeah, instead. Yeah, yeah. No, no. If if it's anything like our episode here with the two of us, it will be. Chance going and having a glorious death. Oh <laughs> no! I Chance can't to die. That's not uh, Yeah, Chance is going to come back with a new bigger sword, like two, <laughs> one for each hand. Um, because you all basically do the same thing when we do the wrap up. I will do the wrap up all together. Um, of course, you can also catch Neil uh, on various other channels that he plugs. Uh, but most of y'all, uh, hang out here and you can catch, uh, them on the Patreon Monday show. I meant to remind you at the beginning of the session, but I didn't, um, that this show is supported by Patreon. Um, there is a new Patreon show starting on Monday, uh, hopefully. Right, there's gonna be a new one, it's gonna be set in the waters of Tron. Uh, if y'all are interested in that, it's going to be a pretty grandiose old time. Uh, any support you can give me on Patreon is greatly appreciated. Though, of course, we all know it's the world and the times we live in. But anything you can spare would be great. Also, I always appreciate the subs and gift subs through the channel. Um, I'm working on a lot of homebrew content right now and I am publishing it all via Patreon and here you can work on it with me. We work on the Stone Orcs uh, earlier, which were badass. Um, and various other things. Is there anything I've left out that you'll want to chip in on? Uh, I don't think so. Waylord. I have whale. Yeah. Waylord, Lord of Wales. Uh, we will catch y'all next time. Of course, uh, if you're you're here late, everything is also on YouTube as well. Uh, Schmoothed down, and uh, you can also catch me on Fridays or Fable Scraps doing Doom Lore. Uh, that's the other thing. Um, we will see you next time, where hopefully there are no. Tiny beasties. Jesus. Apart from chance. Yes! Did yeah. <laughs> Did that as much damage as Tumulus? Like, the, how terrifying as a raging Tumulus? See you next time. <laughs>